Happening today, a team of experts is ready to continue educating the East Palestine community. It's now been more than 10 months since that train derailment, and some people are still digging for more answers. First News reporter Hannah Erdman is live in East Palestine this morning with more. Good morning, Hannah. Anna, good morning. The group known as the East Palestine Justice will host not one but two seminars in the next couple of days, all to help educate residents, continuing to make sure they know exactly what's going on when it comes to things like litigation and also water testing. There will be a water testing expert, environmental activists and lawyers all ready to give their information and updates on what they are learning. Now, this group has been wanting to take a stand against Norfolk Southern. They've been critical of the railroad saying that they have seen a lack of help from them. They say the railroad has, quote, prioritized profits over safety and providing vague state promises saying that they're going to make things right, but really haven't explained how in too much detail. So the goal of these seminars really is to give again that update to residents. Now, these people are probably a lot still feeling effects and maybe want to learn more answers. There will be a water expert sharing information on private testing efforts and litigator Michael Watts says he's also providing updates on the case that he has against Norfolk Southern here in the state. So if you want to attend, here is when you can. In Ohio, there will be the seminar tonight at the American Legion on Walnut Street here in the village. The second seminar is tomorrow night at the Alpine Room in Enon Valley over in PA. Both of those will start at 6 in the evening. And you can find more information about this group on their website. Reporting live in East Palestine, Hannah Erdman, First News this morning. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.